I'm with the gang, 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 and we bout to go up. Twisting lanes, it's a thing every time we show up. You a lame, 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 and you so below us. Bet your hoe she know us, cause you know we glowed up. Stay down. Today we will be reviewing or seeing the NASCAR haul I got. We will open this car, but not the, Al the Alex Bowman. I've been wanting this scheme and this car for so long now. Finally got it. Finally found it. $2. Uh, $3 wasn't a bad deal. $8 to pay for both of these cars together. And that's about the same as just one of these. And no, these are older cars, but these were at, found at the Ollie's. And uh, kind of want a new Hamlin, so made a trade and I found a Hamlin hauler at Walmart this time without the box ruined in million halves. And we're gonna review that very shortly, too. But uh, we're gonna see, let's see. The first car I got up is a Denny Hamlin 2019 car. Now, I do have a Denny Hamlin car, but I gave it to my brother because some kind of trade that he wanted to do. I kind of wish I still kept that one and he didn't argue for something else. But he got a new car, and his sucks. So, um, let's open this die cast up. Here it is, out of the good old box. Now, I kept it in order. Now, it's got that big, terrible um, Ollie's logo on it. But, um, don't worry. You might find some good things at Holly's. Might be older cars, but you find some cars that pretty don't have. Now, they had a lot of William Byron 2019 ones and my brother picked up one of those William Byron Liberty University you know I already have that car most of you that stick around for stop motions um a beautiful looking car by the way if the light would just stop doing that um beautiful front end no flaws as in my last one had a bunch of flaws used it a lot um Denny Hamlin side just this looks flawless and the thing like if it, it, it's made it a wall if it's Sold at Ollie's. <clears throat> Lower price. I will not get mad if it has flaws on it. And this one just flawless. So for that one little paint thing right there. As you see on the back. FedEx Camry. Basically the same design he had on his 2020 car until the up till the very end of the season. And they changed it to be a blockier one. I think that happened first off at Las Vegas and Talladega. Which he won. Which... Did not deserve that win. Um, let's be real. But not the only emotional thing about that is that a member of Joe Gibbs Racing died earlier that, or well, earlier that week, and they all the Joe Gibbs cars had some kind of letter on them. And I was just pulling for Truex to win that race one. I didn't care. I wanted a Joe Gibbs car run, but when Matt Mondello, the underdog, is coming up there, I kind of want to give the underdog the victory. And they still lost the championship, you know. And that's the tough part about it. But Joe Gibbs did not really deserve the championship, even if I'm a biggest shooter. Uh, JGR fan, um, Denny Hamlin's my second favorite driver, for most of you know, but Denny Hamlin, um, a new paint scheme for Talladega coming up next week, um, Hertz Motor Speedway race, it's getting posted, and I think tonight I'll work on the editing after I get this video, this video is probably gonna take like 10, 20 minutes to edit, this one right here, but the next one is gonna be long, longer process, but it's not gonna take nearly as long as our Bristol race, so, you know, it ain't gonna be as long, but it might be just a four minute, you know, stop motion. But, uh, yeah, and the card, I really don't need anymore. I mean, this is 2019 schedule, next any series schedule. Um, pretty cool that they used to have actual Bristol and Talladega and all that before 2020 came around. Um, let's look at good care. Let's go on to the Box Bowman. I'm gonna do a full on review on this later in my series, so I'm gonna keep it up on my wall. On a nice and safe area, so no one can touch it. And now let's go to the Denny Hamlin hauler, which we're going to review in this video too. Um, as you see, Denny Hamlin JGR, and I just love this. I do not know why. I just love that design. And Hamlin, man, this is the race where you know all hell broke loose, and ha and and uh, Ryan Newman could have died, and it was very scary as most of us fans. And I don't think they should have made a race version win for Hamlin. I know it's the Daytona 500, but that race, it's like Michael Waltrip. Even if they did, did a race version back then, I don't even think they would have made a Michael Waltrip Daytona win in 2001. Because all, they would have made a regular paint scheme, you know, for regular season. Because back then they didn't run, but like three schemes a year. 
they didn't run the same car every race, but they did run three different schemes. You know, they didn't run that many schemes. Didn't barely change, you know. So, I get making a regular Michael Waltrip car, but not a race win. You see Denny Hamlin and his crew. Really great day 2500 last year, if you ask me. Just great racing overall. The speed weeks out of the race was really amazing. But let's get this Denny Hamlin Daytona 2020 Daytona 500 holler out of the box. As you see it out of the box here. Um, this is before they changed the design of the JG, the, the car. So it's the exact same design. And all the only difference is no Cup Series logo right there. Um, which is... And see this one they used to actually have uh, sponsors around there if you're a newer fan. I mean, I don't know who becomes a fan, like, after a year now. I feel like every three years we get new fans, really. But, um, like I was saying with the last, uh, uh like I was saying with the last, really, thing, like I said, uh, th three fran fans, three years we really get fans, you know. Um, I became a fan in 2016, 2017. Um, the end of 2016, 2017 is when I became a huge fan. But the huge story about my NASCAR, um, journey is that my brothers, well, oh, dang, it's going on the back. But my little brother has a different dad. Um, uh, most of you don't know that. His dad died. It's a whole story. I'm not going to get that on my YouTube. I want this place to be happy, and I don't want to bitch about my very shitty life. But, um... Basically, his dad really loved NASCAR, and, um, I had a few cars growing up. I done mentioned, oh, dang. Jeez, oh, I can barely hear. Yeah, you know, when you yawn and sometimes you can't hear. But, um, basically, I had a bunch of cars, and they were still in packages. They were older ones, and I opened them all, I played with them. And then Travis was born, my brother, and then um his dad died that earlier that year before he was born, and then I um I knew about NASCAR existing, but I didn't know because you're a little kid you don't care about seeing three hours of cars going in ovals. Now I'm not trying to make fun of a sport. I love it, but to you then a lot of laps like you want to see the wind or the crack. You want to see the crashes in the wind. You don't want to see anything else. You know, let's be real. I know. Uh, I knew about it, and I knew about it, but I did watch a few races before that, but not full races. Like, 2014, I watched Daytona 500. Um, I watched a few uh, races, like 2012, Daytona 500 kind of sticks out a little bit. Around 2014, 2015 is when I, like, started knowing about it, but I knew about Dale Jr., like, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, those drivers, but I didn't know about Truex, my favorite driver. But I always pulled for the 56. Napa Blue or the Bastards of Cars when I was little, five, five stuff. And, um, I've been a Truex fan well, when he was 56. I would always post one, but I didn't know his name, you know. And he always crashed and all and everything. But when I went to 2016, I always put Bass Pro Shop or Napa Cars, still, still do now. And Chase Lee, I'm a fan of him, but I'm not a die hard fan. I'm not more of Truex is way more than any of my other favorite drivers, you know. And, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that Truex was, uh, when he got that Bass Pro Shop car in 2016, I pulled for him all the way. Uh, sure, he won, but I, I missed it. I would watch a few races with family, friends, and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I do not want to get any longer in this video. But, yeah, Bass Pro Shop sponsors and paint schemes is what basically helped me become a NASCAR fan. But, uh, I don't even know about NASCAR fans. Jeez, but uh, Denny Hamlin rolls off. Let's go look at the truck though. That's a hauler part of it. The truck, kind of the same design, like of the back of this car. See the back, like right there, same design and all. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I like this car and I like this truck hauler, but uh. Yeah, that is my um, haul for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tonight was awesome. I went to Silicaga, Alabama. They have Ollie's there. The Walmart was pretty bad. I'll, I've been to three different Walmarts, Spell City, Talladega, and uh, Aniston. 
and uh, now Solakaga, and they all suck, and I'm just mad about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this diecast haul and a little bit of reviews um, and a little bit of talking about real stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully that race will be out by then. I want to get it out as quick as I can. So as quick as I can every single weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I don't care. Fridays even. But we're going to try to get the season done way before February even hits. We're going to get this done a week before February. I mean, February 3rd at the latest. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Until next time, have a good one.